Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're due for an Isaac run. That blue baby run was fun. You know, better to, to burn out than fade away, right? And we, we burnt out on that run. We had really, really good damage. I was probably very slightly aggressive with deals with the devil, although that aggression is usually, usually something that actually works out in your favor. Um, because, you know, the health is fairly easy to come by, damage not so much, but anyway. Um, also, just bad dodging and kind of some sloppy play led to us uh, losing what could have been a winnable run. But also, you know, as Isaac, I would have expected that run to, to win no problem. As Blue Baby, a little bit trickier because of the health concerns that you run into, obviously. But, uh, you know, I'll be the first to say that we probably had a pretty good chance to win on that run. And things just didn't go our way, for one way or another. But in any case, we're going to try to make this work as Isaac. Isaac is always a nice palate cleanser after you have a run that didn't necessarily work out in your favor. Because now, when uh, life gives you lemons, you can re-roll those. And sometimes you can get a delicious non-lemon fruit along the lines of perhaps a, um, you know, a Fuji apple. I was really hoping that was a secret room so I could get into the item room without a key, but no such luck. Uh, and, you know, sometimes you re-roll your, your lemons and it becomes like a, you know, a gourd or something like that. And maybe you're not so much into gourds, so, you know, there are two sides to every coin and six sides to every dice. Well, at least uh, the ones that we're using here. Hopefully, um, it ends up, you know, showing us the more favorable side as opposed to the uh, less favorable side. And truth be told, you know, if we get the same kind of RNG for item generation that we had on the last run, I would be relatively pleased with it. But, we're gonna need a little bit more on the health side of things, which kind of by default just seems to work itself out, given the fact that, uh, you know, we start with a, uh, D6. Alright, so it's Cellar XL, slightly more difficult, of course, than, uh, Basement, and, uh, combined with that, we have the unfortunate, uh, punishment of being on an XL floor, which means we're gonna need some keys in order to access our item rooms, but, as I mentioned uh, a couple videos ago, at least I think I mentioned it, um, I actually kinda think it's a little easier, oh, that's nice. Yeah, we'll go open up our item room. I think we've got time to get another reroll before a potential boss room, but anyway. Um, I think it's a little easier psychologically to get a deal with the devil on the first XL floor than it is on, like, the second floor overall. I don't really have a good reason for that explanation, but I still believe it. Anyway, Book of Shadows, god-awful, obviously. Um, but we'll do a little of that and uh, re-roll the shit out of it. And we get the quarter and we're not going to get too many re-roll opportunities. So I think I'll just roll with the quarter now. At least that means if we get a key, we can now use that in our shop on this floor. Which tends to be more valuable than using it in our uh, item room. Um, just because the shop room pool is a little bit more dense. Especially if you factor in the fact that you get a re-roll. Um, okay, there's our other item room. Might be able to get a key back uh, just by blowing up that tinted rock. That's bad damage. Now that I've taken red hearts... Scratch that psychological psychological advantage behind, uh, you know, XL floors for getting deals with the devil. I was talking out of my ass. We get the small rock. Wonderful. If only we'd gotten that spirit heart before we got hit, we might still be in a bit of a preferable situation. We will try to maybe find second secret room and get this chest. I really want keys at this point, so that's why I did that. Uh, took us back to full health. We got a penny out of it, but... Apart from that, not so much. But I'm really excited to have gotten a damage upgrade. That's a really good upgrade, obviously. We get two more, well, one more bomb. We may be able to bomb our way into the secret room and then bomb our way into the item room. Looks like it's a theoretical possibility at the very least. And uh, let's just get these spiders in here. We're two-shotting them, which is pretty good. Two-shotting the fire as well. And more pennies for me. 30 cents, kind of our next uh, major threshold, I guess. Just be careful here. And we get one more bomb, and pretty much a decently timed reroll uh, in advance of the, the boss rooms here, so that's alright. This is a fast enemy, which is a little bit uh, disadvantageous for us. Are you seriously just gonna belch flies for fucking ever? Um, maybe that's a good thing, because I can just stand back here and mostly handle the crowd control. Uh, unlike what happened right there, where I actually found myself getting hit. Now, I was exactly hoping that that would work out like it did. Um, the nub ended up actually attacking the Widow, which is great news for me, and we get an HP upgrade. No reason to kind of leave that sitting there, I'd say. Let's move along. The only reason we would leave it sitting there is in case we were going to pick up 9 lives or something like that, but if we end up at 4 or 5 HP, 9 lives is a very, very difficult sell. Now, pin should be easy, especially with our renewed damage. Uh, I'd say a deal with the Devil is still possible. Not very likely, but uh, within the realm of possibility. And I'm not going to be picky because our HP is relatively good. So, Pact, Mark, um, well, we'll see. We're not going to have to deal with that. And we get the Coat Hanger, which I'll take. I know, I know. Might have gotten another reroll, but I'm going to take it. Um, if I actually want to go through that, uh, those list of items that I would take. Mom's Knife, Brimstone, 
Impact, Mark, um, Spirit of the Night, Lord of the Pit. That might be it, actually. Guppy's Tail, maybe? It's always a weird sell. Or maybe like Guppy's Head plus a reroll or something like that. So speaking of rerolls, we're not going to get one here. Uh, and in fact, we did not even get another key that we could possibly use to go to the shop. So that sucks pretty hard. That being said, we are going to take a quick glance down here. Plenty of possible secret rooms. This is the option that we care about, though. Please be here. Okay, so that uh, item room, unfortunately, is going to be left by the wayside. But it's hard to be too mad at this floor. We got an HP upgrade, a tears upgrade, the quarter, and... Well, I guess that's about it, isn't it? Still, relatively good first series of floors. First two, I guess. Um... And we're on Caves Part 1, which really means that if we get a key here, um, it's probably going to be dedicated to our shop, because this is the last shop that is guaranteed to not have a mini-boss in it. And I, I'm kind of going through shop withdrawal, because we really did not have uh, great luck with the shops on our last run. In fact, I can't even recall really going to them. I think we went to one, and it contained Notched Axe, maybe? That seems to ring a bell. Um, we will use Kane's Eye here. This is an important deal with the devil. Possibility, and again, not gonna be picky. Kinda glad we're not fighting Pestilence. He's been a bit of a, a thorn in my side lately, but additionally, um, means that uh, we're not gonna get a guaranteed item. Instead, we've got variable items. Okay, I'm gonna take Red Heart damage because apparently I've forgotten how to play the Binding of Isaac. That's awesome. Really pleased with myself. Uh, I'm really happy with the way that I've been playing on these like boss fights where getting a deal with the devil might actually save my life. Now. No deal with the devil, of course. We do get an HP upgrade, I'll take it. And I'm gonna try to stop beating myself up so much over what is a relatively minor mistake, but sincerely. Now that I know that, you know, red heart damage is so key to deals with the devil, that's a unfortunate not location for the secret room. Um, now that I know that red heart damage is so, um, you know, severe in importance for getting to these deals with the devil room, I kind of, like, I think I'm psyching myself out a little bit. I think I find myself being, like, you know, putting way too much pressure on it, and that leads to desperation, and desperation very rarely leads to good things. So, get some more money. This is great, because we actually can bomb our way into the shop. Uh, and when we exit through the door, we won't need a key to get back in. So if we get a reroll, we can come back. And we'll want to do that, because uh, Bum Friend is not the item for us. We are going to take the key. The key will allow us to access the item room, or the golden chest, I suppose. But let's uh, start by rerolling our shop item. I don't want to distract myself. I'd rather reroll the shop item might argue, well, why not go to the item room first and see if that warrants a reroll more than Bum Friend. No, because this that would be distracting myself. I want to make sure that I'm focusing on using my reroll on the shop, because otherwise I could easily psych myself up for stuff like that. Like, oh, well, we got, um, you know, Lemon Mishap. I'd rather reroll Lemon Mishap than the Bum Friend, but that ignores the fact that there's some sweet, uh, you know, density in the shop item pool. That allows you to get stuff like the 9 volt, which allows us to have another reroll basically right away. Alright, so we'll see what we've got in our item room. I doubt we'll get a another reroll on this floor. Still pretty pleased with the way this has gone. You know, uh, an HP upgrade, 9 volts, uh, an item that we can at least use once, and then uh, pop again. And, uh, okay, two HP upgrades, and now a damage upgrade on top of that as well. Very, very slow right now. We could really use an arcade with a blood bag, which I think is a reasonable uh, plausibility for the next floor. Or we could use, like, the ability to fly. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a self-sacrifice room below us. Just seems like the, the type of room that would be there, given the layout on this floor. And, of course, we're not going to go to the library. 15 cents is the perfect magic number, and there we go. Alrighty. I'd say that went pretty well, for the most part. Picked up a decent amount of money, picked up uh, some keys that we used in important situations, and uh, now it's time for us to go, I'd say. So, Caves Part 2 is gonna go into Catacombs Part 2. No? Oh, good. We got, or Sorry, Caves Part 1 was gonna go into Catacombs Part 2. I said it wrong, and thus the incantation was incomplete, which is great for me, because we end up with an easier floor here. Okay... Bomb for a red chest, the bang the bang dicky. It's a it's a good choice, I think. Could pay out with some spirit hearts, maybe give me a small chance at actually maintaining our red hearts. Um, could pay out with a deal with the devil. Item could pay out with uh, jack shit as well. We'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Could pay out with some things that actually hurt me. Yeah, yeah, like that one. 
which is really not what you want to see when you have super low speed, but we managed to get away, so that's cool. Now, with no bombs, this Tinted Rock is awesome, but also a little bit of a, a tricky thing to, to do. Hey, we did it. And we also found the secret room. That is pretty unlikely, I'd say. One more hit should do this here. And the Onk. I still think the Onk is a great pickup. Just in case you end up with a run that's just borderline able to beat Blue Baby, this gives you a, a much better chance. Or Isaac, for that matter. Um, just gives you a better chance for sure. Drop a key. Drop a key on this one. Let me go to that shop. Even though we might find greed. Drop a... Yeah, okay. So hopefully no greed in here. If there is a greed, hopefully he drops steam sale and we get a chance to re-roll it. Now, we could actually, on this floor, I would really love to fight Pestilence. I know I mentioned, I'm really glad we didn't fight Pestilence on the last floor. On this floor, I would love to fight Pestilence. Ooh, I really thought I was going to get out of the way there. Um, because a cube of meat would actually give me some defense, which I am currently really lacking. Really? A range downgrade pill? Well, at least we got money. Like, a lot of it. There is an arcade. Had a feeling this was uh, potentially in the cards for us, as mentioned. You're not going to pop up, so I'll handle you instead. I am I am not happy. But at the same time, my dodging is all sorts of miscalibrated as a result of the fact that uh, my speed is so low right now. So come on, work with me here. Thank you. Thank you for the key. Like, sincerely, thank you for the key. Uh, we're going to do a lot of gambling here. And a lot of this gambling is going to be focused on this bad boy right here. Can't go too hard on this just yet. We'll go down to maybe like three hearts. Remember the red heart damage from oh, two and a half. The red heart damage from blood banks doesn't actually affect your chances of getting a deal with the devil. And if they're going to be affected, they're already affected, right? Let's be honest. Um, my thinking here is that we'll uh, do our best to get this uh, blood bag or either the IV bag and then re-roll it. And um, that would be amazing for me. Getting more keys also good. It's a good excuse for me to gamble. Hopefully we can pick up some spirit arts from our um, fortune teller here. Hasn't really worked out in our favor so far. But we have gotten a, a lot from this three skull Monty. So let's just keep it up for now. It's all good. That could be a two of hearts card. It's the Joker, which is actually super fucking valuable. Um, we won't end up using the Joker card yet. The way that I typically try to handle that... Uh, yeah, we will take Curve Torn, though. The way that I typically try to handle that is we... Um, See if we get a deal with the devil, and then if we don't, we pop the Joker card. So it would be really nice to, even if we have to fight Krampus, it would be really nice to, to get that done. I don't want to go lower than 15 cents, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we have to do in order to actually, you know, swing this run. Ah, there we go. Fly Love. So Fly Love is a reroll target, but I do want to see if maybe the IV bag shows up first so we can get two rerolls instead of just the one. Uh, that is a, another range downgrade pill. Yeah. Okay, so we have the Sun card and the Joker card. It's a very interesting situation to find ourselves in. I'm going to roll with the Sun card for now, and not re-roll, ah, maybe we will re-roll the Fly Love first, um, just in case, because we don't want it, but if we can get something better, 10 bombs is adequate, I'll take it. Um, the Sun card is basically just to keep us alive. We have the Ankh as well, which I should maybe pay more attention to, but uh, I think I'm going to open this Golden Chest as well. Okay, there's an Eternal Heart in there. We don't want to pick that up just yet. That's great to have, don't get me wrong, but we want to save that because we want to play the Blood Bank as much as possible. Speaking of which, I'm going to come down here and, uh, you know, go to town on this bad boy a little bit more. Take us back to two and a half. For whatever reason, two and a half seems like the right interval for me. So we have the Joker, Sun, Empress. We, we, we can't use all of them. Um, the way that it'll probably go down is we'll use the Joker card. If the boss fight doesn't give us a deal with the Devil, then we'll try to take the Sun card with us to the end of the game. As long as we can, at least. So, so far so good. We got plenty of keys there, didn't lose very much money, got 10 bombs, there's an HP upgrade which also gives me a fuck ton of health, all of the health actually, so we didn't even want a reroll for that. Before we gamble more on the uh, blood bank, let's go do some, you know, detective work, some forensics, try to get our uh, situation sorted out here. Make sure that we're not going to accidentally end up having no health for the boss fight and end up using the Ankh, which would be so much more valuable as a later game item. Almost got myself too close for comfort there. And... Good. Another key. Very happy to have it. This run is starting to approach the point where I think it's getting a little out of hand. Like, we're getting very, very strong. It may not look like it right now, but, you know, HP is just damage waiting to pop, basically. Especially when you've got this precedent for deals with the devil, which we don't, but hopefully at some point we will. So another reroll is available now. Uh, I still think we just kind of bum rush the boss room. 
Which is, it's gotta be over here, I guess? Like, did, I thought I explored this area, but I guess not. That's why I hate Curse of Blindness, man. Curse of Darkness. Most annoying curse in the game by far. Curse of the Labyrinth, annoying. Curse of the Lost, you know, a mild frustration. Curse of uh, Darkness and Blindness, though, is so annoying, because it has the possibility of making your, you know, map and compass, which are normally items that deserve to be celebrated, it has the potential to make those super fucking worthless, so. All right, get these guys back in sync with one another, basically. There we go, two hits is enough. It's fine by me. Please drop a spear red heart. Please drop a spear, that's a red heart. We might end up using that um, at some point. First, we've got our boss room to take care of, though. I worked, okay. I figured if we just bum rush this, we might have a good chance. And there's a fourth key for us, which is kind of crazy at this point. But anyway, sun cards available. We are fighting pestilence. What did I say? I said I might like to fight pestilence on this floor. If we don't have speed, at least we can get some, uh, you know, added defense from this. And we're doing a lot of damage, so I'm, I'm loving that right now. Keep that up. No, it didn't get hit. No deal with the devil, though. So that means we will end up using the uh, Joker card on this floor. Happy to have the cube of meat, though. You know, a little bit of, not a super unorthodox item, but a little bit of an unorthodox item that would be very much appreciated right now is actually uh, Lord of the Pit. I would like to have the ability to fly, of course, and, you know, Spectral Tears are great in the form of Spirit of the Night, but it would also be pretty nice to have uh, the, um, what was I going to say? Uh, the speed upgrade from Lord of the Pit. This is the item room, so we want to go back to the Blood Bank here. The Sun card is what we end up taking to the next floor. Uh... I don't want to take myself too low on health just yet. I Don't forget that Eternal Heart. I would have forgotten it if I didn't backtrack here. Uh, I don't want to get myself too low just in case we fight Krampus, but I will go a little bit here just so we can maybe mitigate our backtracking a little bit. We do want to take the Sun card back with us, though, so I don't know how much backtracking this is going to save us. At the very least, money's not going to be an issue for the remainder of the run, in all likelihood. Go down to two and a half again. It seems like a kind of a magic number for us. Two. All right. And I know it seems like we could use the... Uh, Oh, well, we'll take Spirit of the Night for sure. Uh, I know it seems like we could, um, yeah, we'll do that too. Like we could, uh, what was I even going to say? Oh, keep gambling more. I think it's just better to, you know, stay smart here, be cool. I am going to actually gamble more now that we have the Spirit Arts to back us up. Uh, now that we've got Spirit of the Night and the, uh, the Pacts. Spirit of the Night will help me from, or help prevent me from getting hit. And, of course, the Pact will, uh benefit me from giving me these spirit hearts that actually protect me. 54 cents, but no payout. You gotta be effing kidding me, man. So, we want to take the sun card with us. As much as I would love to keep gambling, can't justify it, unfortunately. We would love that HP at this point, but this is okay. We'll get that extra HP from the eternal heart, and we'll leave. And I would say this floor has gone very well. Cube of meat, HP upgrade. We lost 3 HP, but we picked up the Pact and the ability to fly, and we got uh, another HP upgrade. I'm just like, oh, you know, we'll go down. Oh, we can't now because we fucking played the Blood Bank. God damn it. Or we, we picked up the Eternal Heart, I should say. That's okay, though. Um, forgot about this stuff, too. Really could have played that Blood Bank some more. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm, I'm having some trouble going through the... Uh, the remainder of them in my mind because we got so many HP upgrades on that floor and we ended up losing so many HP upgrades as well in, in productive ways at least. Like I said, HP just damage waiting to happen. Now with the amount of keys that we have and you know ever growing, we may end up going to this library. Uh, it's it's one of the few situations where I actually like it. I think it's in the cards. I know it's it has the chance to be super good, but for the most part, I, I usually find myself just ugh, wasting my opportunities. Um, we'll see though. Well, Shoop the Whoop is more re-rollable for me than, than these item rooms. Um, Mini Mush. Mini Mush I'm gonna take. We've had a range downgrade pill and our speed sucks. So, getting Mini Mush feels alright. It feels like we're back to, um, you know, a standard level here. Alright, we get an HP upgrade in the form of that golden chest. That is super nice. Drop one of these bad boys here. Didn't find us the secret room, but a bomb for a key is a great trade. Uh, with the proportions of each that we have right now. Mini Mush may also increase our rate of fire. It always seems like it does, but I don't know. Maybe I, I give the game too much credit and always take the items at uh, like face value, what it says on the on the tin. Alright, there we go. Let's try not to take so much damage, but honestly, our, our attacking is, is working out fantastic for us as is. Our defense could use a little bit of work, I guess, but apart from that, it's all good. Money equals power is making me salivate right now. If we could get it, Mask of Infamy is fucking heinous, but um, that's okay. You know, I'm glad we got the speed upgrade. 
We can hopefully move a little bit around uh, Mask of Infamy now. We have 14 bombs. We're gonna we're gonna win. I really do not want to have to use the Sun card to do it. Our shots are also like very very potent. Let's use a bomb like here. All right, that was pretty good. Let's use a bomb here. That didn't work, and I actually got screwed in the corner there. And that didn't work either. I'm happy to use as many bombs as is necessary, though. That was a bad one, obviously. That one was actually really good, but it came close to being god awful. All right, so that was fine. Happy to have HP. You know, takes us back to uh, a little bit more of a safe zone, I would say. That uh, is good. I mean, I guess I'm wasting my time by not going to the library when I have a reroll available at this point. So let's knock that out. Uh, I also, you know, I, I prioritize the shop a little bit more. Nun's Habit, Map, Compass, those would be fantastic right now. 68 cents, I can fucking buy whatever I want, basically, let's be honest. But we'll uh, do our due diligence here. And if we ever get item, or sorry, if we ever get more libraries in the future, I will be very happy that I went through this. Could have done this first, and then I would have gotten Book of Revelations for the boss fight, which would have uh, mean, or would have meant A, you know, I'd get a second level cube of meat, which is probably what most people are thinking out there. That'd be nice, right? But B, uh, I wouldn't have fought Mask of Infamy, which also would have been a little bit of, you know, less mental stress on me, I guess. Because Mask of Infamy is a uh, pain in the dingle, isn't he? Now, this up here, uh, the half red heart. Well, both of the half red hearts are fine. We get a reroll every two rooms now, which is quite substantial. Should be able to get through these books pretty quickly, especially when they don't give me two of the same book, which is nice. And a tarot card could be interesting. The fool, not good enough. Um, decent. Don't get me wrong, because this can give us a deal with the devil. It's basically like this card is a one in five deal with the devil chance that also takes up you know an inventory slot for a while. Forgot I could fly. Definitely should not be taking damage on this room when I have um, spirit of the night. But what's done is done. Anyway, um, don't get trapped in the corner here. Uh, yeah, um, the sun card is just so much better, though. The sun card is, at, once you get to the end game, worth more than almost any item in the game, I, I sincerely believe. So, um, happy to, uh, to have gotten the card. Thank you very much, but no thank you. Another golden chest. I'll open that. But first, our curse room contains some flies. Not worth the half spirit heart, but not a major loss. Ace of spades, pretty good, but we're not going to take it. And we're lucky that we can afford to lose keys like that. Not everybody can on uh, every Isaac run. Now, that's uh, now, what, like the sixth book we've taken out of the rotation? Book of Revelations, the two, uh, maybe it was the fifth book we've taken, fifth book, fourth and fifth book, I should say, that we've taken out of the rotation. Um, I, I should really, at one point, just look up how many books there actually are in the rotation. That would take a little bit of the guesswork out of it, but we've gotta be getting close. I don't think I've seen Telepathy for Dummies yet, but it's it's just noise to me. Like, Telepathy for Dummies is just so bad that it barely even shows up in my brain when it actually shows up on the screen. My eyes send it to, like, the gatekeeper of my brain, and the gatekeeper's like, he doesn't need to see that. Alright. Mom's Purse. Worth taking, especially when we have the Curve Torn. And it means we can save a reroll for our library and maybe get a little bit closer to finishing that uh, track off, so we have a double item room the next time it shows up. Would have loved the compass as well, but um, Mom's Purse is a good item. Basically, it allows us to preserve our damage upgrade from Curved Horn. Or get something better in the future, which there are not many of. And there you go. So we've um, we finished up our, uh, our library. Unfortunately, the items they gave me are pretty shitty. I'm even going to leave Little Chad, just because we don't need it. And maybe we'll get a mitre or a relic later that would benefit from not having Little Chad. But, sure, um, we've at least... Milk to the pool, and to be honest with you, didn't cost us anything except a little bit of extra time. So, I'm glad we did it. Future libraries will be amazing. Let's head down to the next floor. 7 HP, plenty of damage, and a good setup for the future. Okay, there was a room there. I want to open that bad boy up. Most likely to be a shop, but uh, if it's a library, that's excellent as well. They're both excellent. I would take either right now, even if there is greed in the shop. <clears throat> Which there's not. We're going to pick up the map. Might annoy some people, you know, reroll until you get the compass or nun's habit or something like that. I don't really subscribe to that belief. Even though we're on a Curse of Darkness floor right now, I'd rather have, you know, one map in the hand than uh, two good shop items in the bush. Especially if it's the latter, that just sounds painful. Now, keep you moving here and then we'll uh, sneak in there. Not a problem. Reroll's coming fast and furious now. What do I want on this floor? Well, obviously we are going to fight Mom. That means no 
deal with the devil unless we end up picking up uh, Renegade Sun or not Sun uh, Fool card or any other telepills along those lines, which we probably still wouldn't use to be honest with you. Really hoping, let's be honest, this floor arcade that pays out a little faster, like the Blood Bank specifically pays out a little faster, uh, and no IV bag. Um, apart from that, just just good stuff, you know, uh, high density. Uh, consumables and uh, maybe a, a tears or damage upgrade from the boss fight, but I wouldn't, you know, turn my nose up at HP either. Would probably be okay with going with the cardboard box. I don't know. We'll see. We're in a very, very comfortable position right now, so uh, I'm, I'm very happy that we're on the depths part too, so that we are, uh, you know, kind of like it's like getting senioritis, you know? We're gonna be safe for now, and let's let real world hit us like a Mack truck a little bit later. So... Just keep moving along here. So far, so good. I absolutely hate this room when you can't fly, when you can fly. Still kind of annoying, but um, mostly just because I don't like fighting human popcorns at this point of the game because they spit the flies right into your face. And if you have a tendency to play a little bit, you know, up in there, uh, you can get hit by some really, really dumb damage. And of course, now that like there's no pressure for a deal with the devil, this is going to be the floor where I end up taking no red heart damage on the way to the boss room. Not debatable. It is uh, an immutable lion's law. Uh, really? Okay, uh, we don't know what that pill does. Which means it could be great or it could be awful. Should maybe be a little bit more wary about pills in the near future because, uh, if we get a telepills I am error room, then that puts a real monkey wrench in our whole, you know, go to, uh, the chest plan. So there is, uh, the... Isaac fight, or sorry, this is not even close to the Isaac fight. There is the mom fight here, but we don't want to go with that just yet. It's nice to know. But we have a, an item room to visit first, hopefully an arcade to visit, and hopefully a library to visit. I'll take two out of three. In fact, I would rather have the library than the item room, but, you know, we can't really uh, exercise too much control over that. So every dead end, uh, there's our red heart damage, by the way, so I'm full of shit. Um, every dead end takes us a little bit closer to where we're going to finish this floor off. And the extra half red heart, I do appreciate. We didn't take little Chad. I hope that doesn't end up uh, biting me in the ass at some point. And then there's another tarot card. If it's the Fool, we can maybe get into some interesting shenanigans. I'm not going to stress out over red heart damage right now. Our our damage is already adequate. Deals with the Devil are nice, but um, not necessarily a prerequisite at this point for our success. There is a library, so we've gotten very lucky. That library will be our primary concern because it's basically a double item room. We got another key, too. All right, so we start with uh, SMB Superfan, which is lovely. This means now, effectively, there is um, just a regular item room up here. Uh, PhD, all pills are good. So I'll take that, and I'll reroll Ghost Baby. And I think rerolling Ghost Baby is the smart play here. That becomes D20. If we come across an arcade, which is, again, fairly likely. Um, uh, well, now impossible. But for a minute there, it was fairly likely. Uh, then we could use that d20 effectively, but as is, doesn't appear so. We can use it once here, and that's uh, gonna do it. That's gonna do it for this floor, except for the mom fight, but I'm pleased with the way that it went down. There's always some people who are like, you should take the d20 instead of the d6, and I get it. I really do, but I don't want to do that because I'm, uh, I'm not confident in my d20 abilities. The d6, I kind of got it on lock. I'm not the best Isaac player, but... I know how to use it, you know, it's pre pretty self-explanatory. People are always all doing all these weird tricks with uh, scapular D6 nun's habit. More power to you, but it's not my jam. Wait, have we been over here yet? We have. It's the shop. Kind of look, it tricked me into thinking there was going to be a big old area over there. So we're going to go through with our mom fight now, and uh, that should be uh, totally fine. Plenty of keys. Uh, enough keys. Maybe plenty is a strong word here. Decent number of bombs, considering the way we like to use them now. More than enough money. And, uh, you know, the most important things. Damage, HP, tiers, uh, all stats pretty good, especially after that SMB super fan. Um, so, I'm still feeling a little low on the speed side of things, but uh, the damage side of things is lovely. And we're not going to actually lose any, which is rare uh, for people who have the curved horn at this point in the game. Because we have uh, Mom's Purse, which means we're not going to lose the uh, damage upgrade from Curved Horn when we end up taking the Polaroid. So it's just a straight up benefit, although the Polaroid benefit is pretty unlikely to help us in the near future. But anyway, HP upgrade, not gonna turn on my nose at that as mentioned. Here we go down to the next floor with the map in tow. PhD's great if we can get some more uh, pills to drop now. Pills haven't been amazing so far, but maybe they will be now. Ooh, 
very surprised they didn't take damage there. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, women's intuition carries me into proper uh, boss room territory here. Totally going to go to that curse room. Inside, we got a troll bomb, so that makes me regret that ever so slightly. Keep in mind, A, we have the sun card. Yeah, totally we do. You're right. B, we also have the Ankh. So if things go terribly wrong, they can go terribly wrong one more time after that first incident. And we'd still at least have a shot at it. And I do think we have the damage, or we're approaching the damage at least, where... Oh man, we chose right. That's so comforting, actually. Um, we're approaching the damage where we could win against Blue Baby or Isaac on an Ankh charge. But I really hope it doesn't come to that. And the other thing is that we could possibly snag a deal with the devil on this floor. Didn't even mention it, but um, yeah. We're, we're super not going to take the pony from Headless Horseman here. Um, that that should be very, very obvious, considering we have a passive ability to fly. We can re-roll it. One of those few bosses with a set item that can be re-rolled. No deal with the devil. Shit happens. Re-roll it. Uh, yeah, you know what? A speed upgrade is actually not so bad right now. Still would have preferred HP, but that's fine. We'll take it. All right. If I was a boss, I would be... I'm going to check, like, top left slash top middle over here. But I think it would actually be, like, bottom. Like, that little backwards shoe-looking type area over there. We'll see, though. I may be very much mistaken. Very easy chub fight so far. Quite leisurely, in fact. And there we go. All right. Another key. That means uh, we can open one golden chest. Judgment is exactly what we want to come across at this point in our lives. Remote detonator, you know, is one of the best items to reroll because you can get five bombs out of it. It's like saying, hey, you know, you're, you're doing a triathlon or something like that. And it's like, have some Gatorade, but then you got to get a move on. But here's the Gatorade stop. Tarot cards. Another great item to reroll, actually, especially when it gives us something like the Two of Clubs. We want to keep the Sun card, but... Uh, it's very nice to be able to... Well, effectively, we picked up uh, some, like, 30 bombs as a result of our, you know... Well, what, what were we at before? We were at 15 bombs. Um, we must have been, just working backwards. So, as a result of uh, that reroll station, we picked up 25 bombs. That's way better than when I picked up 10 bombs and was like, Ah, eh, it's pretty good, we'll take it. Right? It seems uh, like the game's being pretty generous so far. Might seem like it's not so good, because, like, we haven't gotten an item that we want yet, but, um, you know, it pays to pay attention to kind of microscopic, or in this case, I guess, more macroscopic changes that you can get. Plus, we still have that reroll pedestal available. What's next? Uh, Mom's knife? Let's joke about it so it comes true. Mom's bra. Pretty close. Uh, Mom's bra is, unfortunately, an item that is worthless uh, if you're just going to reroll it. But a great item... If you're not, I really like Mom's Bra. I've come around to it. Um, wasn't my favorite item for a long period of time, but I like it a lot now. Sloth is, uh, I'd rather fight one of them. Let's put it that way. But, uh, you know, two sloths is an okay room here. Hopefully we get a uh, good tarot card. Maybe we'll even discover some fake tinted rocks. Everything's coming up Millhouse right now. Uh, good tarot card, the Magician. The Magician is not a good tarot card. And this is not our boss room, so it is over there on the uh, far left side. I really didn't think it would be because there's kind of like another room adjacent to it. And I guess in my head I have a prejudice and I'm like, oh, well, the boss room should be in kind of like its own terminus. It shouldn't have to share the terminal with anything else. Um, oh, that was a little scary there, but we're good and you're dead. And that's all that matters. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. We, well... Four rooms? Yeah, four rooms and maybe, the, well, definitely the secret room because we have 40 bombs now um, that we'll check out before that fight. I'll take homing bombs. So effectively, we got 30 bombs and the ability for our bombs to be homing. That's a pretty fucking good reroll pedestal. I'm okay with that. Even if it had just given us, given us homing bombs, I probably would have been like, yeah, it's okay. But yeah, even better. This floor is uh, crazy from a bomb standpoint. Now... You know how I feel about arcades once we get into this area of the game. Not quite good enough to, to justify uh, their existence. I'm glad they're here, because there may come a point in time where it makes, you know, health sense to play them. But I don't think that time is right now. We're doing all right as is. Is there another special room? There's not. But we have Sloth again. Double Sloth is, again, a pretty uh, great fight for us. No real reason to hide behind rocks except to hide from the silkworms, but... No special tinted rocks, apparently. That's all right, too. You know, you can't win them all. And another tarot card, right? Yep. Empress. Pretty good. I mean, we might as well use the Empress card for this Mom's Heart fight. 
We shouldn't need it. There is a chance, though, that it'll help us out. All right, so this time, we actually are going to drop bombs in here. Uh, normally, I like to save bombs, or I've, you know, gotten to the tendency where I like to save bombs for this fight, but, uh, you know, let's be honest, with 45 of them, we're going to be fine. So, and homing bombs, just, you know, too good to pass up, right? Especially when they're uh, basically guaranteed to handle our crowd control, and then we can just focus on actually doing damage. There's permanently firing bombs. Ooh, that was a little close for a second there. Now, just don't touch the fucking way up thing. If you just... There we go. Now that allows us to get the sun card, and life is much better as a result of that. Feeling pretty good, but it's still not a win. Of course, the lost is a big floor. I'm gonna go the left side first. My gut kind of tells me it'll be bottom right. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of decision that does make potentially a tangible difference on this run, because it could be, uh, you know, the difference between finding the boss room in four minutes and finding the boss room in, like, 14 minutes. But, uh, that's fine. Still five keys, so one chest is uh, available for me if I want it. Gives us a half heart interval, but a little bit stronger of one, so that's good. Not all half heart intervals are created equal. That was scary, but uh, ended up being an astute dodge. Ah, good, okay. We've taken out the enemies that are actually problematic, and now we just have this ding dong left who is no thing. That is the first time I've ever uttered that phrase in the real world. Or in the internet world, for that matter. Probably for good reason. Fuck that red heart. And fuck that penny for being close to that red heart. I don't want to deal with your shit. That was bad damage. Probably should have been able to avoid it. Glad we got a chain reaction there. Almost cleared out this entire side. Um, just quickly check up here. See if we have the boss room here. But I would be very, very surprised if our boss room ends up being there. And it wasn't. So in a way, even though I'm wrong selecting the path for the boss room, I was right because I said it wouldn't be here. Who's a genius? I am, apparently. It could still be bottom middle. Again, that strikes me as very unlikely, so I'm kind of just going to ignore that for now, and we'll make a beeline for um, some of the later sections on the, the further side of the map here. Oh, God, that was the worst damage. Taking the worst damage there. Not pleased with that at all. Um... The horse is way more HP than the bicycle helmet, man. Uh, I realize, by the way, that yes, there is a red heart back there. I will go back for that. Don't get, uh, don't get me wrong. But we're not gonna do it just yet. Hey, he broke the tinted rock for me. Thank you. Might rather leave this floor with the tinted rock if I can do that. Please die before you. Yeah, thank you. Um, I don't think we'll need the tinted rock for the Isaac fight, so I might rather just leave the floor with that intact. I might have said tinted rock. I meant spirit heart. Okay, so just hold the right button down here, and if we do a little uh, dipsy dangle with a doodle bug on top of it, we should be more than able to take out Monstro 2. And we still have not come even close to, you know, entering into a dire situation here. And keep in mind that, again, we have, uh, we have the Ankh as well as the Sun card. There we go, that's the chain reaction I was looking for. We're gonna be able to leave with what looks like plenty of spirit hearts here. So, it's not like we're trying to get a deal with the devil. We can just leave those spirit hearts on the ground for now. Might be worth using a bomb in here. That took out one of them. And I know I took damage afterwards, but I'm still content to have taken out one of them for the cost of a single bomb when I have 42 of them. That's a pretty, pretty good uh, value proposition. Now, there could be libraries on this floor. That's the only reason I would go exploring if I found the boss room right away. But I probably wouldn't have thought of that because I'd be too busy fighting the boss. Yes, I had a very, very strong hunch that it would be down here. All right, I know there's red hearts available. I think I'm just gonna go fight the boss, though. There's one red heart available. If I end up using the sun card, this will make me look like a fucking idiot. But I hope that we don't have to cross that bridge. I always say we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. How about this one? Let's not fucking cross that bridge if we can avoid it. We've got a lot of damage, and as uh, counterintuitive as it might seem, might be best to actually uh, just use homing bombs here. We got plenty of them. We'll drastically lower our chances of taking damage. They home. When they get close enough, at least. We're not going to get hit very much by throwing these in here. Let's keep this up. This is working out very nicely for me. Now, it may not work forever. That almost got us hit. But again, if we can abuse any tactic possible to make this sun card uh, last, it's good by me. I don't know, I guess if you put the bomb too close, like your tears fly over top of it, is that the... 
the suggestion. That's the implication here. That seems to be how it worked right there. Um, all right, we need to get uh, bombs in here. Bombs over Isaac. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that was not working out for me. I think we're going to have to use the sun card. And what's hilarious about this situation is that if I picked up that one remaining red heart back there, I probably would not have had to do that. So it's always better safe than sorry. Invincibility is about to wear out. There's our sun card gone. I got hit afterwards, so I feel vindicated. We'll still have a lot of HP to go down to the next floor with. But yes, if I had been able to save that sun card, that would have been more valuable. By a long shot. But that's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We did it. Let's see what we got in here. Hopefully not a... Uh, eh, maybe I'd like a boss fight, actually. No, I don't even want the money. That's... Uh, I'm... Bartering. We're going back to a barter economy. I'm going to trade seashells for bread. And it better be delicious. It seems kind of like using seashells as currency. It's like kind of unfair, right? Doesn't it seem like the fishermen get a huge advantage or, you know, like trawling ships or something like that? Because you get to eat the clam and then you trade the trash for food. I'm not a master of economics, but it seems like that's the profession I would like to be in then. A profession that gets to exploit that a little bit. All right. These are pretty much all god awful. Um, certainly three of these items are inarguable rerolls. Portable slot, we should probably, if we're playing to the best of our ability, reroll after we play it to get as many spirit hearts and keys and whatnot as possible. I also could have realistically taken Celtic Cross. I decided not to. You may disagree with that decision. You have that right. Uh, I'm confident in my own choice, though, for now. We ended up rerolling and getting Guardian Angel, and I'm happy to have it. Guardian Angel is going to very much uh, help us not take nearly as much damage against uh, against Blue Baby as we did against Isaac, and we did take a lot against Isaac, so we need something to protect ourselves there. Getting the tower card is mostly meaningless. If we end up re-rolling into a D20 somehow, that then it would be great, um, but I'd say re-rolling into a D20 is pretty fucking unlikely, considering we already had a D20 show up, and we, uh, we already had our way with it, basically. So... Just hold the button down here. Don't make any more sights. Those are the annoying part. The Zambies, not a big deal. Oh, you made some more sights, huh? It's almost as if you don't care about my opinion on things. Now. Ooh, knockback might have saved us some uh, hassle there. Might have almost cost us some there, though. And you should really only fire at these things, yeah, perpendicularly. Because if you fire at them from straight on, you risk the knockback actually pushing them into you. Or away from you, and then you try to dodge, and you uh, blah blah blah. Odd mushroom, extra rate of fire. Attack fly is like pretty good, but I don't think it's that good right now. Basically, I took odd mushroom as a a tears upgrade, and I know that this means you know our damage is actually lowered, and that means that there's going to be more shots from Isaac. Blah blah blah. Uh, I respect that logic, but I do still think that uh, skinny odd mushroom's a, a great pickup that lo uh, raises your DPS more than it you know hinders you at this point of the game even. Which is probably when it's considered weakest. Alright. Didn't walk into that fly, much to my surprise. Probably Guardian Angel saved my ass and it did so again in all likelihood. Um, really just got to create some space here. I did take some damage there. We're still rolling on those spirit hearts that we brought with us though. And you know what? It probably would have been a smart idea to carry those spirit hearts into the Isaac fight. Because, you know, we wouldn't have spirit hearts now. And you could argue that that's bad, of course. But we would also uh, probably still have that sun card. Which is more valuable than a few spirit hearts by... At least in order of magnitude, I'd say. Um, so that's technology. Technology 2. Again, we're going to get shot at like crazy by Isaac. By Blue Baby, I should say. Um, but I still think it's worth taking. Maybe? I don't know. We're, we're really messing with our tier effects more than we normally would at this point in the game. Uh, but I like uh, sustained fire, you know. That's fine. Let's make sure we kill Wrath last here. Had a lot of technology showing up. Sorry, not Brad. Sloth. Make sure we kill Sloth Blast here. I think we're doing a little bit less damage, but with a little bit more consistency. So, it's a trade-off. You may like it, you may not. That's okay. The Hanged Man. Terrible. Actually worse um, than what we had before. Not gonna bother fighting Greed. I had a very strong feeling this would be our boss room. Okay. So... This should be interesting. It was just going to be a, a staggering amount of shots. I just looked and our damage is real bad. Uh, our damage is not very good at all. So, here's what I'm thinking. Let the bombs do the work. We still have the Ankh. 
But this is... We're, we're gonna go for broke on this one. Fairly good so far, honestly. I feel pretty good about this one. As is. Four bombs left. Keep it up. Oh, bomb myself there. That might end up being terrible. All right. Now that we've taken out half of his health and we've only lost a little bit of ours. Time to go to town here. Keep it going. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's worse. Come on, buddy. We got Guardian Angel now. Guardian Angel, don't let me down, okay? We're in the third phase. Oh, man. It's fucking outrageous to watch the speed at which Blue Baby's health goes down. It's it's seriously like 5% every two seconds. So like 2.5% a, a second, I guess. So we gotta hold it there for quite some time. Oh, I think we're gonna lose and we're gonna have to end up using the Ankh. That is not something I am very excited about at all. But we could get lucky. We're actually almost done here. The worst choice of a path for dodging. Just kill Blue Baby at least. And then you can get Red Hearts back. Oh shit, we're gonna win. Alright, well, I made that more complicated than it had to be. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Of course, if you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, you dig?